Okay, in this presentation, I'm going to look at this question here. Okay, telephone calls arrive at a switchboard at a rate of 30 per hour. Assuming that the switchboard can take two minutes to deal with cost. Assume that, okay, that's actually not relevant to this question, actually. It's a bit of a red herring there, so just forget about that. Okay, um, so calculate the following. The probability of two or more calls arriving in any four minute period, okay, the probability of no calls arriving in a four minute period, and exactly three calls arriving in a ten minute period. Okay, so what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to sort of, just for the sake of ease, I'm going to do this in reverse order, okay. So what I'm going to do actually first off is I'll, I'll do the last one, probability of x equal to, what is this? exactly three calls in a 10 minute period okay now this is a we have to be very careful here okay so in a 10 minute period what's the probability of three calls now we expect 30 per hour and which is 60 minutes now 30 per hour is equivalent to 5 per every 10 minutes. Okay, so what we're going to use here is this Poisson mean. This is going to be our value for m. Our lambda actually in all it's also denoted as lambda. That's the Poisson mean. I'll just stick with m partly because it's consistent with the tables I am using. Okay, that's our Poisson mean is 5. Okay, so m is equal to 5. Okay. So let's go to our tables down here and see what I have. Okay, so there we are. Probably of x is equal to k is m to the power of k. And let's just do it here again. Uh, m to the power of k times e to the minus m all over k. Okay, so m to the power of k e to the minus m. all over k, I think that's k factorial, let's just check, over k. k factorial it should be actually, it's a little typo there. Okay, so, so that's probably of x equal to k. Okay, so, uh, m to the power of k, so m here is going to be 5, k is equal to 3, okay? So, um, 3, what do we have? 5 to the power of 3 times e times e to the minus m, which is minus 5, all over k factorial, which is 3 factorial, okay? So essentially this works out to be 125 times over 6 times e to the minus 5 is just a little bit of calculator work. Uh, minus, I'll just have to shift this a bit to one side actually, I should have centered it up. Not point not not six seven three. Okay, so when we multiply it out, essentially what we should get is 125 times um, the exponential of minus 5 is not 0.8422 all over 6 and that gives us about 14% yeah uh, not 0.1403 so we'll stick with that answer there, okay? So that is the probability of um, three calls arriving in a 10 minute period, okay? So that's the first one. Now, so let's go back to the question here and it asks us to talk, it discusses, a, it discusses a four minute period. So in a four minute period, we expect two calls, okay?
okay, that's like for, for just because based on the fact that 60 minutes equates to 30. Okay, so just divide both sides. It's just essentially the proportionality. So two calls. So m is going to equal to 2. Okay, now first off, what is the probability of x equal to 0? What is the probability that we get no calls in a four minute period? Okay. So it's the same uh, formula as was before, probability of x equal to 1 equals, uh, let's just check that formula again, m to the k e to the minus m over k factorial, m to the k times e to the minus m over k factorial. So uh, well, that's 0 actually, so uh, that is m uh, here is 3, uh, sorry, two. Uh, m is two this time. Uh, k is equal to zero. Let's just make a note of that. So we have here is two to the power of zero times e to the minus two, all over zero factorial. Now this is a sort of banana skin. Zero factorial is actually equal to one. Two to the power of zero is also equal to one. Okay, that's important. 0 factorial is equal to 1. So essentially our answer is e to the minus 2. Uh, the exponential is minus the exponential of minus 2. The probability of x equals 0 for 4 minutes equals exponential of minus 2. A little bit of calculator work. I make that to be 0. 0.1. One three five three. Okay. Now, so we're going to have to do that. What I'm going to do now is check probability of x equal to one. Okay, probability of x equal to one. That is equal to. I'm just going to sort of quickly use the same formula again. That is two to the power of one. Okay. Times e to the minus two all over 1 factorial, okay? Using the same formula as we did the last time. And in this case, what we get here is uh, 2 times e to the minus 2. Okay, so that's 2 times 0 0.1353, and that is about 27%, okay? Or just slightly more than 27%. So, not point two seven zero six. Okay. Now, what does that? How does what? Okay. So that's the first question done. Uh, sorry, the first part of this question was. Sorry for skipping around there. I have to find my question there. So that was the probability of no phone calls arriving in a four-minute period. Now, essentially, what I done that second part, probability of x is equal to one. It's not part of that second question. I'm going back to the first question now. The probability of two or more calls arriving in any four-minute period. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, probability of x greater than or equal to 2 is equal to the probability of x equal to 2 plus the probability of x equal to 3 and so on. Okay. But what we're going to do here is use the complement of that. And that is the probability of x being greater than or equal to 2 is equal to the probability is 1 minus the probability of x less than 2. Okay. Now this is important because just remember Poisson is a discrete variable random variable, not a continuous random variable. So you have to be very important. It's very important to be very careful about this. So the probability of x less than or equal to 2 is simply, uh, that is equal to 1 minus the probability of x equal to 0, which we know, plus the probability of x equal to 1, which we also know now. Okay. So the answer is 1 minus no, uh, 0 0.1353 plus uh, 0.2706. So just add that all up together. What we have there is 1 minus 0.4 uh, zero five nine, and that works out to be 
59.41, just slightly more than 59.41%. Um, okay, so the in reverse order is the question was actually quite easy. So it's just, just look out for that. Okay, so that's the Poisson distribution worked example. Let's switch this off now. There we go.